Well, everybody, I have to give this, and at least on YouTube, this is just going up as a random video, not a testimony, not a ranting video, because it's like a mixture between ranting and a testimony here. Well, there was something that happened last night when I went to a fire pit with people who I always thought I was close to as friends because I haven't felt that close to people before it came to a point where I was going way too far with things and I didn't as what everybody who witnessed it had a, had looked because apparently it's a natural fact in life that other people are going to see things that you do or say or whatever different than how you're seeing it. And you may have very good intentions, but it looks way different to, to so many other people. And that's pretty much what happened last night. And I'm not going to get into detail on that. Well, today I was able to talk with the two and here's the thing of what I see is going on first of all I think the Lord Jesus Christ that he used both of them to break me because I still have had a lot of anger and bitterness built up from the past that I have not seen a way to be able to release it and let Jesus do away with it. That was one of the reasons I cried today. They both prayed for me and really wanting the best with for my spirit with the Lord and having devotionals and everything to help get this anger and bitterness from the from the past deep down within me to go away. Be gone. And they have no idea how thankful I am. But here's a big problem. Which is another reason why I cried. I knew that eventually it was going to happen because it is inevitable. Nobody understands my position. These two, they, they have others who are friends. And they'll joke around with each other. They'll talk to each other about certain things when it gets serious and stuff like that and and this is the way that I that it looks to me whenever I try to engage with them because they're supposed to be my friends I am always wrong I can never say anything right I need to just keep my mouth shut I'm being too judgmental I'm always complaining when a lot of times I'm just making jokes or whatever, just like the rest of them end up making jokes and and it may seem like it'd be a little complaining or whatever, but they don't mean it. It's meant for fun. But when I do any of that stuff, any of it, it's always wrong. And this is the other thing, reason why I was crying. And I don't know if my if these if these two who I spoke to today even understand this. Yes, I have emotional problems. Yes, I have learning mental disabilities. But here's the thing: there are other things that I definitely do catch on to, and when I feel I am being singled out. And I notice something that looks like anything other than being singled out. Yes, it hurts more than anybody can know. I may be mentally handicapped, but I am not stupid. And so what I have decided to do is leave these friends, not disbanding friendship, but just not coming around leave them in peace while I go through this journey with the Lord on my own. Get away from the ways of the world. I'm not doing any more Let's Plays 
at this time on my gaming channel. I may not even post any more Skyrim clips. I don't know. It just depends on how I feel in the day. I will continue to post church sermons from Calvary Chapel Lynchburg on my main channel and on Rumble and share those. But I'm not doing anything else. Since people just don't know me and they will never know me is what it seems. And I am also always judged before I'm known. That's why I'm better off alone. Only the Lord knows me. And so as of this time, I have little to no true friends in the Lord. I may have a lot of brothers and sisters, but I don't have any true friends. It's always everyone else's word against mine. So I might as well leave everyone in peace. I have nowhere else to go, nowhere else to turn, except for just with the Lord and the Lord only. That's what I had to say. So for those who want to continue to watch the sermons that I post on my main channel on YouTube and on Rumble, I'll share them on social media. But other than that, I will not be available. I don't know how long it's going to last until I start getting more involved in anything. As of right now, I need to be with the Lord. Because I just can't do this anymore. I just ask everyone to please pray for me. And pray for everyone else who was involved in this situation with me. Pray for us all. And for now, this is goodbye.